Hi guys, my name is Ilya. I'm a first year PhD student here in Wellington, New Zealand. I'm doing ecology, but I had a very long past life as an entrepreneur, building websites, going around the world, living with shamans and gurus and so on. So one of the most remarkable things that I brought from these journeys is the remarkable teachings we can get from Jack Sparrow. Pirates of the Caribbean one. One of my favorite movies, we had to watch it in the ashram every single day. So the first lesson that we can learn from Jack Sparrow is desire. So if you imagine the first scene of the movie, Jack is on his little ship, the ship is sinking, there are those three pirates hanging there on the side, it says, keep out, you know, don't do your PhD, you won't make it, like look at all those people hanging, like Twitter is full of that. But Jack Sparrow just salutes them, says, okay, I'm gonna do it, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm different than those. And why is he going there? Like, he doesn't know. He doesn't know, he doesn't have a plan or anything. He's just like, okay, this is what my heart tells me. This is what I have to do. And the best symbol for that in the movie is the compass. The compass never points north or south. It never points towards any expected direction, but it points towards his biggest desire. And that desire happens to be there. So this is how I think we should do a PhD. You know, we should align with what is it that I truly, truly want. You know, I spent years and years just researching like what I really want. And then I decided, okay, I want to do biology. Um, so that, that makes it easy for you to make any further steps. And that makes it easy to salute those who failed, you know, not to be intimidated because now you're driven by your innermost desire to do what you really want. And this compass, it helps you separate the expectations that other people have of you, like your your mom maybe wants you to become a doctor, your grandmother wants you to just eat a little bit more and meet again, and uh, somebody else wants something else from you. But what do you truly want? You know, that is the true meaning of desire. And I think Jack Sparrow embodies it really, really greatly. The second lesson that we can learn is about opportunity and circumstance. So of course, like in a movie like Pirates of the Caribbean, serendipities are abound. But in life, it's actually not that different. That's, that's my personal realization. Because being lucky is not like actually having chance or anything. Being lucky is about perspective. How do you see something that happens? You know, for somebody, it's a failed experiment. And for somebody else, penicillin gets discovered. That's the story, you know, like that is the, the idea of perspective. You can change the world or you can just put it into your drawer and forget it forever. And so Jack Sparrow or the Pirates of the Caribbean has this beautiful scene where Elizabeth Swan just is, um, you know, she's, she's, she's fainting and she falls down the cliff and there are two British soldiers. They're too afraid to jump. They're like, you're going to jump. No, you're going to jump. I know that's kind of the idea of academic bureaucracy for you. Like who, who's responsible for what? I don't know. But for Jack Sparrow, it's just like, okay, just do it. You know, I have to do it right now. That is my opportunity to do something. And he jumps and he doesn't know why or what, but it so happens, you know, that he finds exactly that amulet that is guiding him. And it will be, I don't think it will be much different, you know, in life in general, from my experience. And it will be the same with your PhD. You know, your PI tells you, do this, do this, but you have a hunch, you really want to do that. Or some experiment turns out to be like somehow interesting. Don't discard that. Take that and like build on it. Build on it and just drive home with the idea. This is where serendipity lives. You know, serendipity lives because we, we, we don't go by rules, but we go by circumstance. You know, Indian traffic is the same thing. There's like rules, yeah, but they're guidelines. You know, you have to look out and you have to understand, oh my God, there's like 15 cars coming at me. How do I handle that situation? And if you learn that skill in your PhD life, you will be the king because you can do anything and you can you know, turn any situation into what you really want it to be. And our last lesson from Jack Sparrow is his chill and smug attitude. I mean, that is his trademark. You know, he's always prancing around, dancing, doing things in the movie. Um, and one could say, you know, he's maybe a little bit of a selfish character, but let's think about it. He never really steals except for you know small opportunistic thefts he never kills anybody like there's barely any beating up there's nothing you know like severely wrong with a guy and uh, that is to say that you know he's not really selfish he's just doing what his desire is what his mission is 
And that's the thing, whenever people really do and follow their heart, we actually really respect them for those. And we even tolerate people that do it completely recklessly. You know, like, what do the bankers do? You know, they pursue their thing and somehow we glorify it, somehow not. That's the thing with um, pursuing your goals. You are more or less free to choose. So that's the thing with, with selfishness. The other aspect of selfishness is that we always put in morals somehow. But for Jack Sparrow, there are no morals. You know, there's just, okay, I have to do that. And that is the beauty of, of not having to always think about what is right to do, but like what has to be done in order for others and myself to be happy. So it's in a way doing the selfless thing by doing the selfish thing. It's a little bit hard to explain, but if you think about it, it's, uh, you know, your, your PI maybe wants you to do this presentation and that, and then maybe you should also do some science communication and so on. That is all great, you know, it's kind of morally right. It somehow it feels right. But what do you want? You know, that is the true question. And the thing is, it's not bad to do what you want. That's the analogy of Jack Sparrow. It is not bad. It is actually great because burnout is nothing but neglect of your own self. So in a way, if you allow too many things to happen, if you draw the boundaries kind of too tight around yourself, you're going to perish. You're going to perish by suffocation slowly and not, you know, in a bad. So that is a lesson that we can learn from Jack Sparrow is to kind of prance and dance around the, the things that happen around us, around the obstacles that, that happen to be there. So these are my three lessons. So the first lesson to sum it up, calibrate your compass, like really figure out what is your desire and what is the expectation of everybody else and the expectation of you because that serves you not. You know, the desire is the one thing. The second is bend the rules. Bend the rules does not mean to be a complete, you know, moron and doing things, but it just means to do things a little bit the way you think they should be done. You know, to, to really use your intuition to decide what has to be done. Not to stick too tightly to what, you know, is prescribed somewhere. You can bend the rules, more often than not. And number three, is be a little bit selfish. You know, be a little bit selfish. Like in the airplane, the oxygen mask comes down, like you're supposed to first put on the oxygen mask, then serve your neighbor. Because you can't serve anybody if you don't serve yourself first. So guys, I hope uh, you enjoyed this little presentation. Ahoy! If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more academy related content, then please subscribe to the PHC Place YouTube channel.